So this NBA season, we were blessed to see so many records getting broken. Uh, the first re uh, record that stands out in, in everyone's mind, that's the best one by far, that they got the most publicity, is Russell Westbrook beating the great Oscar Robertson's uh, uh, triple-double record for having the most triple-doubles in, in, in a single season. So for those of you who don't know what a triple-double is, a triple-double is where in basketball you have double digits in three different categories either assists, rebounds, scoring, etc. And Russell Westbrook beat the great Oscar Robinson who, who held that record and he beat him for having the most in the entire season. So that's a segue into, into my main topic, which is I believe that Russell Westbrook is the best point guard in the NBA. Uh, he's the best point guard for many reasons, but I'm gonna focus on four today. Uh, my first reason is gonna be because of all his great records and his great stats, uh, the players that respect him, uh, the, his mentality on and off the court, and then lastly, because he's a loyal player. I believe all of these cadre, all of these four, really is are, are, what, are what makes up a, a great point guard, and, and Westbrook embodies and conquers all of them. First of all, Russell Westbrook's stats are just off the charts. I mean, he's a phenomenal player. I mean, uh, we already, I already spoke about how he beat Oscar Robertson's record for, the, for averaging a triple-double. Uh, and so he actually averaged one, and he beat uh, his record for having the most in the entire season. Uh, ESPN.com uh, uh, ranked him as the best point guard in the NBA. And not only that, they ranked him as the most efficient player in the, in the league. So that means that he not only is like is ranked by like by like ESPN, which is what everyone watches for sports, as the, as the best. He's also the most uh, efficient. And being a point guard, you have to be efficient. And being efficient is one of the most important things at, at that position because that position is what basically leads your whole team. And to be efficient in that position will benefit your entire team. And and he's ranked. The most efficient. So also, he 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 actually is the highest scoring uh, player in the NBA. Not just point guard, but player. So he's is the the he's averaging right now thirty one point six points a game, and that is the highest out of any player in in the league. Uh, he also is the third highest assist uh, uh, a player in, in the league. That means he passes the ball. Uh, uh, very well, and, and that's what the point guard's job is to do, is, is, to, is to be efficient and distribute the ball. And he's ranked third best out of, out of all the point guards in, in the league, as well as scoring the most. And he's also the, the fifth highest rebounder in the league as well. So he's in the top five of all the major stats in basketball, and he's the point guard, and no other point guard even touches that. So he, by far, he doesn't just Prove that he's the best player. I mean, you can go on on the stats and, and you'll see like factually he is the best. Uh, he's also respected by many of the greats in the league, and so don't just take my word for it as, as saying he's the best. And 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 his stats. Other players who are professionals who play with him and who have played all give him just the highest praise, which also proves that he's one of the best players in the league and, and the best point guard in the league because other point guards, other great players in the league are just giving this man just all the praise he, he deserves because he is that good. So USA Today uh, uh, quoted LeBron James, and LeBron James is right now what is the most, he is right now the status quo of the best player in, 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 in the world. Most people, ESPN.com, USA Today, uh, all of you guys, any player, most people believe LeBron James is the best player in the NBA. And this is what he had to say about Russell Westbrook. So USA Today quoted him saying, I've got to give a huge shout out to, to, to my brother, Russell Westbrook, on his, on his historical season, breaking the all-time triple-double record set by the Big O, big, the Big O's Oscar Robinson. Uh, it, it, it's just certain things that you never think you're going to you, that you never think that you're going to see. 
So LeBron just basically said, "I respect him for his for his for, for, for like 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 LeBron James, who's ranked the best player in, in the world, is is looking at Russell Westbrook and, and and saying like, I can't believe you put up those numbers. Like that's something I couldn't even do. It's it, it, like and Oscar Rob. I mean, you beat Oscar Robinson, and like the best player in the world is 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 admiring this man, and that means like, and you know, I mean, how many people does LeBron James admire? Like very few because he's." The top players, he only, only admires uh, 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 like other top players in the league, like Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook's mentality on and off the court also makes him one of the best players in the league and one of the best point guards in the league. Because not only did he lose his co MVP uh, Kevin Durant last year, but he still managed to put up b b better numbers when he had that person on his team to go support him than, than, than he does now. So he put up. So after he lost. His other 27 point average po points a game, eight, eight, assists, eight assists a game player who was just an all star, one of the best players in the world right now. He lost him and, and managed to come back better from that. And like, and you've asked any any basketball player, all my coaches all always say that adversity is what makes great players. And so, to, and to come back from adversity like that by losing someone who was just basically helped carry your team. Just is absolutely phenomenal, and not only did he put up great numbers after he left, he he would had such an, an intense and hardcore mentality that 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 he led his team back to to an NBA to, uh, to, to, um, to the finals uh, this year, and he was he was ranked very lowly at the beginning of the season. His team as saying they're not going to make the finals. I mean, I mean the. the they're not going to make the uh, playoffs this year because they lost their great player in Kevin Durant. But but, but his mentality was we'll, we'll never ever take that, and we're just going to go out and go out and get it every night, and that's what he did. And Kobe Bryant, as as many as, as many people know, uh, Kobe Bryant is one of the greatest players of all time, and, and, and he's known for his mental toughness and, and his attitude on and off the court. And he respects Russell Westbrook greatly, and he was quoted by LakerNation.com by saying, well, when I turn on the TV and I watch players play, the players that, uh, that I like to watch is, is, is Russell Westbrook. And he's a player that, that plays with the same kind of emotion and grit as I did. And his competitive intensity reminds me of myself. So Kobe Bryant, which is probably one of the, him and Michael Jordan probably had the greatest mentality of basketball history ever, hands down. You guys, all the players who play, uh, NBA players, everyone knows Kobe Bryant for his mentality. And he looks at Russell Westbrook and saying, there's no other player, no point guard, nothing that plays with that kind of intensity and mindset other than Russell Westbrook. You know, so and, and 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 that's coming from out of Kobe's mouth. He said, "There's no one else besides him." Uh, people also say about his mentality. Uh, St uh, Stephen Kerr w w was quoted saying by ESPN.com, "He plays with such a chip on his shoulder. He plays as if he's trying to kill every single person who guards him." So basically, he said, Steve Kerr is looking at him and saying, like. Like the way that he plays is so intense and so passionate. It just th there's nothing like it. It looks as if he's trying to go and, and kill the person in, in front of him because he's that focused on, on on his task. To be a point, to be a good point guard, you, you have to win the respect uh, 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 of your teammates as well. In, in order for them to go and want to actually follow you and actually value what you say, and because being a point guard, that means you are the are the leader of your team. So, I think he has that. That respect of him because of how loyal he is to, uh, to his team. See, uh, Westbrook is one of the top players in, in, in the world and the best point guard in the world, and he continues to, to stay with, uh, with a team that doesn't have that great of a, of a supporting cast. But Westbrook never ever t he never ever will take that. He and he always is known for shutting down reporters who try to go and dog out his team and say that like uh, Russell without you they wouldn't be uh, where they're at. He 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 has many viral viral videos where he shuts down reporters and says you cannot talk about my team that way. Like 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 like, like we win as a team and we lose it as a team. And he's always loyal to to his teammates even if they mess up, even if they even if they don't rebound or they, or they don't or do. Uh, do whatever. He's always there to to be to, to be loyal to them and respect them and, and say and say and say that so that we are a team. It, it is not ju uh, just about me. And and that in, in itself, having someone be that great and 
and that um, uh, loyal to you and that like humble to you will always make a, 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 a great leader and everyone who want to grow up and follow him every single day. So in conclusion, Russell Westbrook is the greatest point guard in the NBA. His stats and his many record breaking uh, 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 accomplishments prove that to be true. He's respected by great players like LeBron James and Kobe Bryant and countless others. His mentality on and off the court is, is deadlock focused. He's super intense and awesome. And lastly, his loyalty is what ties it all together to make him that great leader that other point guards just don't cut. Thank you. Well, Jacqueline, what did you think of his speech? From outside. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit tough. Bad timing here. Oh, I didn't, I didn't have to do this, did I? I, was, I had to switch you around with uh, Carlos because he was scheduled to do the same written and oral evaluation, so I twist traded you. Let me see if I've got somebody else who could speak up. Okay. Jaslyn, would you like to take over here? And we'll plug uh, Jacqueline in in your spot. No? Sure. No, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I was okay. so confused. Yeah. I was like, wait, what? Okay. <laughs> wait, what am I doing? You're going to tell us what you thought of uh, Justin's speech. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> I thought it was very well researched. Like, you had good quotes and stuff. And you were talking about the statistics and how he, you even gave quotes about him and how, um, I can't speak right now, and how he, was like we're a team together, so that just shows that he's very like a team player and stuff like that. And you were very um, good with like connection to the class, and you seemed like you knew what you were talking about too, and you were very prepared for your speech. So I thought overall it was a good speech. Okay. Uh, the engagement is excellent. You are looking at us. You're talking to us. You are, you know, in energetic in your presentation. Um, I like the gestures that you have, uh, the way you use your voice. You keep going. Uh, it, it flows very smoothly for the most part. You know, the occasional issue that we've talked about before, but that's not, that's almost invisible because of the way in which you are trying to talk to the audience and reach them. Uh, you're, there's good enthusiasm in your voice when you're speaking to us as well. So the presentation stuff is really solid. You're not wandering all over the place. Your gestures seem like they are connected to what you're talking about. So you're doing the right stuff there. Um, the, maybe the only thing uh, from a delivery standpoint that I would question would be uh, your appearance, maybe a little casual uh, for a speaking day. But yeah, and it, it's, <laughs> It's, I mention it only because I want people to know, mm -hmm. and I'm sure that you know, t five years from now, everybody was, is going to be aware. If they're having to give a presentation on the job, they're going to know those kinds of things. I just, I just want that in the back of your head. Oh, I, forget, I remember what Richard said five, six, 10, 15 years ago, mm -hmm. you know, that kind of thing. So, and if I don't say it, then it won't be there. Um, the content, I thought you previewed it pretty well. Uh, there's an excellent citation of information. Uh, sometimes it, it's you know just uh, the website. You mentioned ESPN a couple of times, for instance, and I assume that they have some index or some authoritative board or something that makes these evaluations. And I, we could maybe use a little bit more information about that, but I think everybody knows who ESPN is, but that... You know, sometimes what's printed on their their page is going to come from one of their experts or it might come from like a, a combined rating of all of the uh, people who cover basketball or something like that. And if you had some data like that, that would enhance that. When you're quoting all of the other NBA players, you do a good job doing that. Uh, um, just remind, you know. Nothing wrong with the quote that you used and everything. It just just reminds me one of the reasons that I'm not a big fan of Kobe because his 
basic compliment is he's so good because he reminds me so much of me <laughs> and I'm going yeah there we go you know it's and that's perhaps a little you know short-sighted but you know, the the point that he's taken is pretty good and I like that I especially like that last point where you're trying to show that he is a team player and how he works with the team I think that that helps so you've got good uh, sign reasoning because you got lots of signs indicating that he is the top player at the at the moment uh, you've got a nice generalization suggesting that he is capable of doing this for his team even though his team wasn't expected to do particularly well and under the adverse circumstances of losing uh, another important key team player I thought that that was uh, really solid in building your argument um, we could have used maybe a little bit more information about how his team is doing and uh, how they you know, I assume they made the play. I don't follow basketball anymore. I, mm. I'm sure they made the playoffs. Mm. Are they still playing? No, they, they, they got eliminated. Mm. Okay, so yeah, it'd be one of those things. But for example, maybe a little bit of finish off there. Okay. Uh, that might have been one of the things to even say in the conclusion. It said, you know, even though their team went out in the first round, Westbrook did the following five things, and you better watch out for him in the future because he is the best point guard in the NBA. You know, something like that. Just a little bit of extra punch with your exit line would be nice. Otherwise, everything else was really solid. Okay, thank you.